Hello everyone, my name is Tapu Amshore, a PhD candidate with the Center for Biological Control. I'm going to share with you my work on the management of fruit piercing most Cerodespartita in citrus orchards. So Cerodespartita is an adult pest of both tropical and subtropical fruits including citrus. It is an outbreak pest which occurs every 5 to 10 years. However, in the recent past, the population dynamics, especially in the Eastern Cape region, seems to have shifted from sporadic occurrence to seasonal occurrence. As the name suggests, it pierces the fruit and sucks the plant juices, the plant roots, and eventually there's premature fruit drop, also known as fruit abortion. So the objectives of my study is to develop a fruit piercing management system that is a unique and competitive sustainable advantage. And to achieve this, I have explored the dynamics of this pest with a bias towards finding biocontrol agents that could be used for managing this pest. I have actually identified a tachinid fly, which is a parasite which parasitizes the late instars of this larva. And I've actually found that it occurs together with the pest in the wild, but doesn't occur in large numbers sufficient enough to combat this pest. I've also discovered a potential new virus that could be used for managing the larva as well as other noctuid associated pests. I've also been interested in monitoring the flight behavior of this uh, moth in the orchard. And uh, I've actually established its peaks, its economic injury levels as well as economic thresholds, which are going to be used uh, by farmers in the management of this moth. I've also been interested as well in the feeding preference of this moth by looking at feeding preferences as well as feeding severity. And what I found is quite interesting in that the fruits become more desirable to damage as they uh, uh, ripen. And then there are certain cultivars such as the satsumas and the clementines which are more susceptible to damage over the late uh, ripening varieties such as the nuttocots. But the main focus of my study has been to look at bait development as well as bait presentation. On bait presentation, basically what I'm looking at is different traps or trap designs. And thus far, I've actually discovered that the funnel trap is the best trap that could be used for monitoring and management. However, there is room for improvement for this trap. So what I'm actually doing is to find, is to try and develop a new electronic trap that is going to revolutionize trapping as we know it. And I also want to develop a synthetic bait that could be coupled with an electronic trap and together these two could be used to actually monitor as well as to manage this, this, this uh, troublesome pest. And I'm very confident through this holistic approach, I will be able to wipe off the tears of our soft citrus. Thank you very much.